and welcome back to another MJH Images TT. And yeah, as the title says, we're looking at the oil pump pickup uh, pipe. Yeah, so uh, and we're also going to give you a little talk about, about the oil and what's it looking now after after so many hundreds of miles. Uh, I don't think it's done thousands of miles, but I think it's done hundreds of miles. It's only been a year, but we'll see what condition it is in. Uh, and we'll have a look at the the sump when we get that up as well. Some of the stuff, yeah, I got mine from uh, Cloud9 Customs. Um, got the kit. Uh, I was zooming and ahhing about other scenarios, other ways of getting the bits and pieces direct. But the the uh, pickup pump does actually come direct from the uh, yeah yeah from Germany and uh, and it's the Volker, Volkswagen genuine part. So. Let me show you what's in the box. So here we've got the pickup and it's supposed to be nicely done there. Uh, we've got the sealants, which is a Durco one piece. Um, yeah, so that should do the job. Um, and we've got the gasket and we've got the O ring for the pickup pipe. Yeah, so as usual, let's go to the car and let's get into it. Okay, so we're under here, uh, some plug, 19mm socket on the sump, and we'll just wet it. Okay. Get this. Oh, go the right way. This pocket is already. So if I can change hands. So you can see a bit more. Okay. Here it goes. Well, you can see the colour that's coming out of there. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna drain off and we'll uh, come back when we're looking at this oil. Right, so uh, one of the first things to do is clip off the uh, sensor. You just pull that that clip back there, and it comes off. Uh, the next will be to loosen off the return turbo return oil return pipe. Um, these two 10 mil bolts. Uh, loosen them off. Uh, I'll take that off. Yeah, okay, we can see those two parts. So, undo those, and then uh, that should just come apart there. These awkward bolts. So, we've got this one, this one, and the one behind here. We'll go in the end of that one and the end of that one. Uh, I'll show you on that one there. Just in there like that, which I've already loosened. Not in that one. Uh, that one you will have to use a socket or a wrench. I did have to loosen this off there, just so it gives you a bit more movement to actually get a tool in above it. We're going to come back, I'm going to get all these out uh, and then we're going to come back when I've got some puff. Okay, and then we'll do a bit more talk when, you get, when this is off. Okay, let's get out of it. Okay, so this is the oil out of the engine, which has done about a thousand miles since it was changed. And it looks rather uh, horrible. Um, I'm going to pour it out into that clear and see if we've got any uh, metal shavings or anything in the bottom of that oil. Okay, so let's start with the pouring.
So let's have a look if you can you can see that there. It does actually all break up in my hand. Okay, so now we have the sump off. You can see in there. Uh, yeah, it's got some really heat wear with the oil burning inside. Um yeah. So we'll have to give that sample a good clean. You can see some of that gunge again on the bottom. Uh, what I did also, I got I got this large magnet, and just to sort of see if there's any shavings that pick up. Infection. Um, right. Okay. So I dipped it in, and I thought, well, if there's any shavings, it will pick it up, and it seems like well, there isn't. There isn't any. You know, I've tested in different areas of the yeah. So So yeah, anyway, we'll give that a good clean, but we'll now go to putting on the the uh the pickup. The pickup right. Again, we'll fit that. Uh with the with the new roll ring. Okay. Let's go back to the car. Okay, here we are underneath. Cover off. Um, I have given it a clean round. I might just give it another clean round since it's tripped down a bit more since. Since. Okay, so let's start by taking these bolts out. Um, I think you can use a five mil Allen, but I think you can also use a ten mil. I think I'm using this. Yeah. Uh, and then I, uh, I think they're 15 newton meters when you torque them up. Uh, let's get it on there. And there we go. Let's come back in a second. Okay, so let's look at the strainer. Right. Old one. Hasn't been changed. Let's take that out. Uh, yep, yeah, and we can see some of the uh, build up in there. I don't know if you can get that. Oh, that doesn't look good in there. Uh, yeah, uh, let's get the, uh, the new one on. New oil. Mm. And. And that. Okay, so that's and we're good to go. Put the half in there. That's it off hand tight. Remember we'll torque these down to 15. I'm just gonna put it get it in. Okay, so uh, we've got a small torque wrench. Long extension, thank you. Let's just make sure that's all locked in. 
Yeah, should be. Yeah, there we go there. On this side. And that be all there. Okay, um, I don't know if you can see that there, the k and uh, oil filter. Oh, uh, which I'm now going to take out and put a new one in. Which is there. Need some um, more, about half filled and a bit of oil around the top. Okay, so I'll go on in there. Once again, I'll check that sandwich plate, see how that's doing, been doing. And uh, yeah. Let's go on with it. Okay, there we have it, all cleaned up. Uh, yep, all cleaned up around the edge. Inside, cleaned up as best as we can. Um, almost looks like new. <laughs> okay, so um, what did I clean it with? Um, why? Um, Kind of like a cotton wire brush type um, brick brake and clutch fluid works a treat. Gets it out, eats into the old stains, uh, and you give it long, uh, give it a good rub. Um, yeah, quite happy with that. Uh, just turning over. I gave it a little bit of a clean, but it's yeah, it's it's not too bad. It's all cleaned up anyway. So now to get to the interesting bit where we're going to put a bead of the um, sealant just around the edge all the way around and we'll go to fitting it. Um, I'm going to show some of it because it's a bit difficult and that's the uh, last hard work. But same as removal, watch these uh, four tricky four tricky points which are these ones one two three four I think uh, first one straight forward but I think it's these two which are tricky um, yeah so yeah we'll go and see a little bit now okay uh, just before we go there I just forgot I did order this um, magnetic sump plug now did you get that so we'll close in and we'll see how quick it jumps. Oh yeah, got that. <laughs> uh, and uh, you can see that goes in nice. Um, yeah, I've got a 14 on this one. And let's we'll see how, it, how it, we get on. We've got our wash in between. Um, Okay, there's our click. Uh, I was a bit unpretentious because it's aluminium as well, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, done the job. Uh, yeah, and we can monitor see how good these are. If they're rubbish, we're in trouble because we're, we're going to put new oil in it. But I see it goes. Yeah, it was one of these wire th um, cleaning things you can get. Does a really good job with your brake cleaner. It does a Good job. Uh, yeah, so now we are ready for some more fun. Let's put it on the car. Okay, just get a quick glimpse of that. That's got the bead of sealant around the edge. Uh, that's coming out there. Okay, and we're going on. Let's go for it. Okay, this is going to be fun. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, nice. underneath. Thank you. 
We'll start it off with your hand uh, and then we'll talk these down. Um, okay, we'll I'm quite impressed. We'll come back when we've got all of them in and we're talking it down. Uh, I'm just going to put the gasket on there and we can close that back up. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll be back. In. Okay, all done. Uh, this one, that one, and the one behind there. I divide to 45 newton meters of torque, um, and then the small, the small ones that go around are 15. The turbo return pipe, these ones. 10 newton meters of torque. Um, that's a gasket, a uh, sealant. That's gone off now. Now it's time to put the oil in and see if we've got any leaks. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I can say that, yeah. We'll talk about these bolts and those one, two, three, four. Especially those two in the middle, we'll talk about. Um, yeah, let's go fill it up and see if there's any leaks. Okay, uh, just come back. Put the dry, no leaks. Uh, okay, mate, let me just see if I can. Okay, from the sump either. That's all good. Okay, let's uh, let's finish this video. Okay, just wanted to show uh, some stuff that I use. A bit back, a bit backwards. But after doing the job, you kind of know what works well and what doesn't. Okay, so yeah, you need a ratchet. Yeah, got a good ratchet. Uh, you also need a, a large and a uh, small torque wrench which I use this one to do this to do the uh, 10 newton meters and the uh, 15 newton meters I use this small one. large one 
for the 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 ones that you're going to do 45 or 40 newton meters. So yeah, man it to get the sump off. Uh, 16 mil socket because you got three bolts. Uh, but I had definitely one that you need to use that on. Uh, well, yeah, you still might need that. But also, if you use a 8 mil Allen key for two of the bolts, because you can use that, and help, which will help you get into some sort of awkward spaces. I used the 5 one for some of the main ones, but to loosen up, you might need to use a 10 mil socket. But that's quite good because actually, I've just discovered. This one is kind of like a, a magnetic, so it gets to hold it. Very good for putting, for getting it started when you're putting back the uh, the small 20 bolts back into the sump. Um, you also got that bit as well to help you along the way, getting them tight angles with a, uh, a bendy section, an extension for tightening uh, and for torque rinse setting time. Is good to use those together with the tool. Um, what else we got? Um, yeah, so that's in a nutshell. That's all the stuff that you need. Um, yeah, I'm just think of anything else. Seal looks like there. O ring. That comes out of the strainer and the pickup pipe. And also the turbo return gasket. That's what the old one then looks like. Yeah, that's the condition of that. So, yeah, I'll need changing. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's talk a bit more. It's a good job. Those four bolts, which are small, and especially two of them, which are in awkward shape to actually get the angle right, are a pain. And I can say, uh, on the second attempt of it, I dropped the bolt in, and when you drop the bolt in there, it's a pain. You've almost got to take it off. But I managed to just, even after I put the seal in, I managed to just push it one side to actually get my fingers and get something in there to get it out. But I, I then used, I think this magnetic, and it's like a, you're, um, it's like you're operating, and you've actually got to put it on there and you actually make sure you get it through there to get it started, to get it locked in. Because you start using all sockets and it comes off, you're, you're in trouble. So I found at the end of it a magnetic Allen key, uh, five mil is ideal because it, it locks onto there, and as long as you, you go up and it gets you gets you enough space to actually get it turning and get it going. So I can recommend that one. Get a magnetic one, five mil one. I had this already, so it was around but ideally for doing that job. Um, what else? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, nice job other than that. Um, now it's running with the fresh oil, with the fresh drying out, it, it runs a lot smoother. You can feel it. Well, yeah, I can feel it's, 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 it's a difference. And, it's, and also, when I looked at the oil pressure gauge in my I'm, I'm adamant that the pressure's higher and it stays high for a long time. Yeah, I'm I'm quite confident on that. So uh, we'll monitor it again. Still monitoring it for, 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 for leaks so far. No leaks and it's all good. Um, uh, yeah, so that's another one finally finishing out of the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been good. Till the next one. We are going to fix some stuff on the some pipe work coming up next, so keep tuned to watch that. Um, yeah, um, stay safe and peace, we out. Oh, before we out, remember all that good stuff. <laughs> really helps, appreciates uh, um, <laughs> what I'm doing. Um, yeah, let me know that uh, you, you want more? Okay, so peace and we out. <laughs>